Okay. Follow-up video on a response to a comment, and this is a response to other comments. Recently, I got a comment on one of my older videos uh, calling me stupid because I didn't realize the closed captions on the video were covering up what I was typing. My response to that is, I don't know where the closed captions show up on your device. I don't know what video player you're using to play the video. I understand my videos are on YouTube. Maybe you're using the default YouTube app on your phone. I don't. I use Newpipe on my phone. I did a follow-up video where I showed on a desktop or laptop, if you're using the YouTube website, you can just click and drag the, the comments or the captions around, the subtitles around. One of the top responses, besides just turn off the, the closed captioning, which some people need those closed captionings, I'm assuming that probably they're, they're listening to a tr so, uh, generated translation. But yes, you might want the closed caption on. So how do you... I'm just focusing. Um, how do you do that on mobile device? That was a lot of people. People, a lot of people are watching your videos on mobile device, and there's no, no choice. Uh, you can't move the closed captions around. Again, I don't know what application you're using. Maybe your video player lets you do it. I use Newpipe. Newpipe does not let you move it around. VLC, if you're watching my video on VLC on a mobile device, does not let you move the captions around. One of them I recently read in a forum that they're looking into adding that feature. I can argue that both are open source, so you can go inside the code and move where the captions are. You would think you would just change the number on where it shows up on the screen. Most people won't do that. I understand that. I'm just saying it is an option. But what is an option? Here is my phone. It is a Motorola G stylus I got maybe nine months ago. I got it on Black Friday. Normally it it's a $300 phone, or at least was at the time. I got $100 automatically off, and then I also got a $200 credit because I'm a Google uh, Fi subscriber. So all I had to do was pay shipping. This was a $12 phone for me. And if you look at the right times, you can find new phones, especially Motorola. They're so awesome. They let you unlock the bootloader. They're very easy to use, and they're low cost. Um, and I'm just saying that because I'm showing you that this is not a expensive phone feature. But I did get the most recent update of Android, Android 11, and built into that. And I'm assuming this is a Google, Google feature, so it may not be on Lineage OS or other custom ROMs. Maybe it will be. Uh, maybe it is. I, I haven't checked. But built into a default feature on Android 11 is this. Here's one of my old videos playing. I'm going to try to focus in on this. One of my old videos, just randomly picked. It doesn't matter what video it is. It doesn't matter what video player you're using. It doesn't matter whether this is a YouTube video or audio file. If I press the volume button on my phone, that's the power button. Let me turn it back on. <laughs> if I press one of the volume buttons on my phone, this little box here shows up, and if I click it, it turns on generated closed captions for any audio coming out of my device, this could be a video chat where someone's talking to you, it could be a music file, an mp3 file, or a video. And you can see at the bottom of the screen there, it is generating closed captions for you real time. So it's generating what's in my phone. It may not be 100% accurate, I haven't really looked at it, but any captions on my videos are probably going to be generated because I don't create closed caption files for mine. But look at this, you can drag it up and down. It doesn't go left and right, but up and down it does. And this is a default feature on Android 11. So, no complaints. You may not be there yet, but it is a feature that soon most people will have available for them, even if they're only on a mobile device. I wanted to share that with you because that was one of my top comments. Again, there are other options out there. If that is just a Google thing and you don't want to do a Google thing and you want to pull the captions down from YouTube with the video, you could do that. Uh, I'm pretty sure I might do this just to have a video on it. On my phone, I could write a shell script that I can give it a URL, they will pull down a video, pull down the closed captions, and then use FFmpeg to embed the video, uh, the captions, wherever I want, and then play it. You could do that on your phone, because again, if you're a Linux user, an Android phone is a Linux computer. And, and people have this disconnect that this is a phone, this is a computer, they're the same thing. Yes, Android is a pain in the butt. It has some uh, things to it where it's kind of locked down and annoying. But 90 some percent of the stuff you do on your desktop, as long as you can unlock your phone and root it, which you can if you get a phone that you know can, and again, Motorola is very good about that. They let you unlock your bootloader. If you can unlock your bootloader, you can get root access on a device. If you can do it on your desktop, 99% of the time you can do it on your phone.
So yeah, if you don't want to use those Google services uh, that translate it like that and you can't find a video player that lets you move it and you don't want to edit the source code of your video player to move the closed captions, I bet I could write in less than 10 lines a bash script that will pull down a video, pull down the captions using YouTube DL and then use FFmpeg to embed I think they call it burning the, the subtitles into the video, so they're actually part of the video anywhere you want. And then I can use whatever video player I want to, to view it, and the captions will be wherever I want. So, I hope you found this useful. I hope you learned something new. If you don't have Android 11 and you're looking forward to that feature, uh, see if you can get a, an upgrade. And again, if anybody knows, again, I don't know if that will be in the custom ROMs or if that's like a Google feature. Um, again, I just got that update. Uh, most of my devices are running custom ROMs, but most of them are running Android 10. Um, I haven't done 11 on it. My main phone, I just kept the default um, system on there. I just rooted it and uninstalled uh, applications I didn't want. So, because for the most part, I'm going to end up installing the Google services on my main phone anyway, mainly because of Google Maps. <laughs> Google Maps is just one of those programs I can't replace. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching. And I know there's open source maps out there, but they don't compare. Anyway, have a great day. Filmsbychris.com, there's the link in the description, and I hope that you have a great day.